everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Octio Studio, and today I'm sharing with you days five and six of our Art Jair's Joy of Sharing hashtag event, AJ Snark Attack 2020. This is going on all the month of October. Every day there is a new snarky quote to make an art journal page out of, and I have a video every day. However, for tomorrow, which is the sixth, I have a stencil girl design team video. So I decided to combine days five and six together today. So I decided to do some gel printing with my new stencils I just purchased from Stencil Girl Products. I got some that have letters and words. And I have had other ones in the past, but not as many as I would like. I really think that uh, words and letters make interesting graphics. And so I decided to use my gel plate to make some different prints. Uh, not go crazy because I do need to work on my art journal pages, but just make a few prints. So I have this new uh, Connections Open stencil that has a lot of interesting open spaces, and I thought it would be fun to stencil there with one of those ones that has a lot of words. So I put the open connection stencil down first, put some paint over the top of it, and then put the um, the one with words on it and I will list which ones these are below in the description box with links uh, so that you can find them on the stencil girl products site but um, I can't tell you off the top of my head what they are I thought both the prints and also the the stencil prints when I just take the, the dirty stencil and press it down on my scratch paper my roll-off paper and press it down it also made an interesting mono print as well so I'm kind of doing both. I also did a cleanup print on black paper with a metallic paint, an iridescent paint, which turned out pretty cool. It's subtle, but it's really cool. So then I switched to this other one that's got words all over it. It's a different one. And I put some black paint down first and then put the stencil down, picked it up so that I ended up with a black and white print. Remember that if you want your words to look correct when you're gel printing, when you get your print, you, that you need to put the stencil upside down, face down onto the gel plate, or else the words will be backwards when you get the print. If you don't care, that's fine. I mean, if you're just using it for a graphic, but if you want to actually be able to see the letters in the correct format, you need to do that. So I had the black paint, put the stencil down, picked up the paint from the middle of the stencil, and then I put some different colors of paint on there, and then it took the stencil off and make that made that print. So you end with up with kind of like a, a black writing on a multicolored print. And then this is my cleanup. What was left on this on the plate, I put some white paint on and picked it up. So I end up with some some very subtle gray words with a little bit of color. So then I figure, okay, I need to stop gel printing. You know, I could do that all day. I really could. And I've got these couple sets with two different stencils plus that open space, open connections, I think it's called stencil. Um, and then this one is on a piece of, of, this is actually my under paper. When it gets dirty, I pull it off and I tear it into quarters and I was using it to do the roll off, but then I did the stencil print of the dirty stencil on this, and this is actually what I ended up making my background for this day five one out of. Um, it's it's craft paper. It's very absorbent. It's not it's not great paper. It's just it's meant for you know being to junky paper just to use on my table. It's not something special, but. Um, it was interesting when I tore the edges of it and then I glued it down. I thought that was pretty cool background. And so I glued it down with Yoohoo glue stick and I wanted to use the quote because <laughs> this quote makes me laugh. I better grab my dumbbrella. It's getting really stupid out there. I wanted to use that quote for today. Uh, yeah. It's because of the TV. It's because of the CNN. I try not to watch it, but it's downstairs. And when I go downstairs to the kitchen, there are people watching the CNN all day, all day. It's always on and I can't avoid it. And some of the stuff that they are talking about on there and some of the opinions that they have 
about whatever's going on, mostly political stuff, just drives me bonkers. It's all so stupid. And they say the same thing over and over. And they've got speculation about things they don't know about. You know, I'm not going to listen to it. I don't want to watch CNN, but I'm forced to watch it. So this page is as political as I'll get. It's just saying that I think it's all very dumb. And I need my umbrella so that I can avoid <laughs> watching any sort of news, no matter what channel it is. Um, I just, I just want to, I want to avoid it. I do. It's terrible. I hate it. But I have this stenciled from, uh, it's designed by Cindy Utter. And this one can be purchased on a site that's called What If NC, which is run by our friend Carla. She will cut these stencils. I'm pretty sure this one will be on the site of What If NC. It's a, it's an Etsy shop. And Carla has purchased a laser a cutter thing that cuts stencils. It's really cool. So this one, this umbrella one was designed by Cindy, our friend. And um, this is perfect. I wanted to make a colorful umbrella with a lot of, of letter graphics on it and words on it so that um, you get the idea of what my page is about. So I'm using a couple, well, three different of the prints and I'm I first cut the whole umbrella out and then I'm using the stencil to cut little sections out to make it more interesting. Um, I think that's fun to make it all different kinds of colors. And it's not my intent that you can read any of this. In fact, I do some scribble writing later, which uh, you cannot read, but it's my own personal feelings about things. And it's just, it, it just letters and words are interesting graphically. So then I decided I needed a person um, on my page and this stencil, uh, it's about your tribe or something like that. I think it's designed by Carolyn Doobie. This is a stencil girl one. I decided to use stencils all through this page. Um, I decided to stencil a figure on there. I did have to, this is one of the stencils that you can get from Stencil Girl that have, it has a stencil and a mask. So there's these little tiny connecting spots and you just trim the little connectors and you can take the mask out and then you have a stencil which is the outside of things and a mask which is the inside of things and they're both very useful um, in different ways. <clears throat> so I used the stencil by removing the mask and I stenciled my figure under the umbrella in white paint and then I grabbed my snarky quote this is one of the ones that I typed in like a 16 or 18 font on my computer. I made a whole sheet of some of the different ones. And uh, then I sealed those with matte medium because I have an inkjet printer and I can cut them apart and use them on my pages. It's not all the quotes, it's just a few of them. I have other ways to make the quotes go onto my page too. So if you don't know about Snark Attack, this is our um, it's our month-long daily art journal challenge, which encourages you to do something creative every day. If you don't want to make art journal pages, you can make something else with the quotes. But this year for 2020, it being such, such an obnoxious year, we decided to do snarky quotes instead of our usual one-word prompts that we do. So we have a snarky quote for each day. There's 31 of them on the page, and you can just pick which one you want for what day. And this is the one I picked for day five. So now I've got uh, some pencil work going on with my Stabello All Pencil, just making some shadows around different things. And I decided to draw some raindrops, and I'm sorry I'm off the top of the, the uh, screen there. These are long, narrow pages, and I don't know if I told you that this is a Rangers Dilusions Dialogue Journal, and the paper is made out of manila cardstock. It's a type that you can make a planner out of and you can insert it into the cover with the elastics, but I'm using it as an art journal instead of a planner. It's a tall and thin, which is different. You have to think about your composition a little bit differently. So now I wanna add some color to my stenciled figure. So I'm using some Stabilo Woodies uh, 
these are wood crayons from Stabilo that are highly water reactive, just like the Stabilo black pencil that I use so frequently, that I have been using in these, this journal so frequently. Um, you can blend it with water, or you can leave it looking more like a crayon. Either way, it's fine. So that's adding some of that rainbow color to the figure as well. And then what did I do after that? Oh, I decided to do my scribble writing. So I'm just writing things about fake news and um, political stuff and lies and truth and um, just all the stuff that annoys me about news. All the speculation of what's true and what's not true and the, the motivations behind things. And I just, it's just too much. So you can't read what it says. It just adds graphic interest to the figure. Then I got out my white Posca pen and just add some sketchy lines around here and there. And then I write across the bottom, be very careful what you believe, because I think that's true. I think most of the stuff well, maybe not most, but a lot of the stuff that we see on the internet, on Facebook, on Instagram, on the news, wherever you might get this information is just, you know, got you got to be careful. You got to check and make sure that what is being said is, is real and true, you know, because it's just, it's, it's out there for entertainment and not for education and it, it's annoying. So these are the close-ups. This is day five, and then I'm going to go on to day six. Now, I've been just using one side of each page. Um, instead of making a two-page spread on this journal, I know that I'm going to make 31 pages, and I know I'm going to make a video from every page. And so I didn't want to do big, big, giant uh, art journaling, you know, a big journal with large pages because I need it to be quicker. So... Since the other one on the other side is right next to it, I decided to go ahead and continue using these same gel prints to do that side as well. And then the two sides coordinate. There are two different quotes, they're two different pages, but they look good together. Um, something you can think about if you don't want to make a double page spread every time in your journal. Just make it similar colors or use the same gel prints. <laughs> If you use the same ones, it's going to look the same, right? Not exactly the same, different, but enough so that it seems as if it's coordinated. So I am tearing strips um, using my ruler, metal ruler. I'm tearing strips out of these different gel prints to use. The quote that I'm going to use, it says, I made a huge to-do list for today. I just can't figure out who's going to do it. <laughs> That's me every day, people. <laughs> every day. I have all kinds of things I, I either want to do or think I should be doing. More think I should be doing. But I can make the list till the cows come home and it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get done. Because it's probably not. That's just the truth. Especially with quarantine. I don't want to do anything. And I know I'm I'm not alone because so many people have commented on videos where I've said, you know, how I'm feeling and they are like, yep, we get you. That's exactly the same way we feel. So it's not just me. So I'm taking these different strips and I want to just, I want to make, I want a lot of color and pattern and interest, but I want to make something that looks kind of like a list. You know, there's, there's writing as it's going down the page doesn't really mean anything it's just pattern and color but it gives you the idea that it's a list right so I'm tearing them and gluing them with my yuhu glue stick I did this whole two page spread with my glue stick today I didn't um, I didn't use anything else I didn't use any matte medium at all I just used the glue stick and then I have a damp uh, baby wipe that I kind of press down and clean up any excess glue stick as I'm going. Works really well. Been pretty happy with it. So I hope you guys are enjoying Snark Attack. I hope 
uh, more of you will start participating. There has been pretty low participation in this one so far, but it's only, well, day five. You've still got plenty of time to make some pages or whatever other substrate you'd like to use, tags, ATCs, um, something. Just get something out and do it every day. We got to get moving. We got to got to get motivated and these funny snarky quotes give us a little bit of giggle each day as we're doing our art journal page at least me I'm giggling so <laughs> I think that's funny who's gonna do my list is anybody volunteering I don't hear anybody volunteering to do my list so I I'm, I have my little quote in lit in a uh, long skinny pieces of paper as well so I can just stick it on as I'm going and fill in here and there and I think I think it turned out exactly the way I wanted it it's a list looking thing but also very colorful has the same type of colors as the page on the left because they're the same prints so um, it coordinates but looks different pretty happy with it and this one was quick it was just really just gluing down papers and a little bit of uh, stenciling at the end, and that's it. It was a lot. It was quicker than the other side, even. Even though it seems like it might be tedious to glue all these little papers, it wasn't at all. It was quick and easy. So I, I continued my theme of stenciling over on this side as well. I have a little six by six stencil that has some. Uh, little people on it and of course again I'll link that in the description box below the stencils that I used it's also from stencil girl I thought about putting some verticals because you know I like horizontal and vertical but I decided not to I just decided to keep them all horizontal like a list I'm highlighting the the word strips by adding a shadow around them with my Stabilo all pencil and activating that with pencil water brush you've seen this lots of times but it does make a difference it makes those those pieces of paper stand out from the background and then I have this little stencil the stencil a few little people on I stenciled them first in white so that I could make sure that the colors turned out really bright in the end uh, I wanted to use the colors of the page but I needed them to be like if I'd stenciled it with the color of the page particular with particularly with the orange one the orange one's a very translucent paint and you would have still been able to see the stuff from behind so that's the reason I did that the turquoise and the light blue aren't as uh, transparent of paints but still it worked out so I just went back over and did it in the colors after the white was mostly dry <laughs> the orange one I don't think the white was very dry because it blended it in too much but then I went around the figures with the Stabilo all pencil and um, blended that and then I added some sketchy lines with my white Posca pen and I think that that was the end the finishing of oh and I did a little bit of finger painting anyway I hope that you guys are going to give me a thumbs up for this video and to subscribe if you haven't already to turn on your notification bells if you haven't already you can pin this on Pinterest I do have a board if you follow me on Pinterest I've made a board of all these videos so they're easy to find for you and I've invited Peg to put her videos on there too I don't know if she has on that same board but I did send her an invitation to do it so we can have all of them in the same spot so if you guys will be sure to do all those things it helps me out by helping uh, other people on YouTube find my channel so this is where I'm doing just a little bit of finger painting to kind of um, there's a few areas that I thought were too white and I wanted to bring them into the composition so I just used my finger to add some of those same colors of paint here and there to kind of focus everything in and I think that that is it for me for today uh, here comes the close-up so here's my little white sketchy lines the close-ups are coming in very very soon 
<laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Anyway, yeah, here comes the close-ups now. Thanks. Bye-bye.